Hello everyone. On this topic, I would like to show you how to connect from your Dockerized uh, container uh, to MySQL, um, but also this uh, configuration will be applicable to uh, MariaDB server. Uh, as you know, when you bring up container Docker, uh, you, your Docker really prepares like virtual network and it sets up his own uh, network IP addresses so like your local um, network is um, uh, one thing and another thing is like dockerized containers uh, network it, these two things can work together but Sometimes Docker can block uh, some IP addresses if you use some local, uh, uh, for example, local uh, printer and you want to print and you know, oh, what happened? I can print something on my uh, printer because my computer doesn't see it. Uh, this is because Docker just uses your uh, local IP address and it reserves it just for uh, Docker's needs. On this uh, video I'm going to tell you um, how to configure a Symfony application and uh, let's start from this. Uh, in fact you can read all information on Symfony uh, official uh, website but I'll also uh, explain what is going on with uh, configuration of MySQL. First thing is environments. Uh, I everything described also on my uh, blog. You can visit it if you want it and read everything about that. So uh, database connection stream in uh, Symfony is located in environment files with env uh, extension. These files are located on uh, root of the project and uh, and dot env file is just for your uh, local default variables. Uh, the env.local file, is, this is uncommitted file for local overrides. So, for example, uh, you have um, your application installed on your local um, computer on, on dev server and um, you can put on, in this file uh, variables which are specially, uh, are special for this environment. And this file will not be committed to GitLab or whatever you use another uh, version uh, application. Uh, the env and app dot app uh, uh, application environment, for example, it can be env dot dev or env dot prod. This file is committed and it overrides all previous two files. So, um, if you run in product uh, um, environment, production environment, you just use this file to put some default overrides uh, for this environment. Uh, for example, if you use database name to uh, another name for the dev environment and another way for name for production environment you can this use this file to make um, and this file will be committed so you will not make a mistake upload in some uh, things to uh, for example production version yeah also the last file is env dot application environment and dot local so it's like committed uh, uncommitted environment specific overrides this means that for example um, on some server you need to override default um, environment specific uh, um, uh, defaults 
uh, so uh, you use this file and this file is not committed usually it's enough to use env and env local uh, file and in this file you have uh, database url uh, variable and this variable contains um, in default version it contains um, like from 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 docker uh, from uh, doctrine bundle default um, some uh, some string uh, for sql lite database in this case but uh, in this uh, string you should put your default connection uh, s connection string to uh, my mysql database in case of mysql you should put string like mysql two dots slashes slashes database user two dots the uh, database password and then mm, you should put your uh, host the port it's usually defaults uh, 3306 and database name so i think it's uh, like pretty um, understandable and uh, the main part is this host in this case we see that you we are using uh, not local uh, not local host but we are using ip address and this is the most correct version of of two uh, that's why because uh, mm, your computer or the server uh, will not be using in fact your application your doctrine will not be searching for the host and this may take some time to connect though so if you run application and your application should waste um, additional time to find out uh, what is IP address of uh, host name then you just waste your request time yeah and the user waits longer it's not seen by eye but in if you will collect it it's a huge uh, time to waste so better is to use IP addresses like uh, if you know them of course uh, in some cases you cannot use IP addresses because a load balancer is uh, behind uh, the some mm, some some uh, DNS or or something else infrastructure is used so you can't just use uh, IP address, direct IP address. You should use, in this case, of course, host name. But my advice, if in normal version, you should use better IP addresses than, uh, than uh, host names. But in case our, of our um, Dockerized Symfony application, uh, and if we are running our database server, in our case it's MySQL, uh, we cannot um, use uh, this lo a local host IP address uh, because in this case application will search for a database server on our data on our um, doctrine container. In fact, we doesn't have our uh, MySQL server uh, installed on Docker container. We have it on our local computer, like or in local server, where this Docker is running. In fact, so to make to resolve this problem, you should make some changes to your Docker Compose file, and one of of change is to put extra hosts and there you should put docker host like host name and uh, your any ip address any uh, your um, you like to uh, except of uh, really use, used already used uh, ip addresses then you should add uh, network configuration just as you see and uh, to define a subnet 
it's like it, it, this is important thing because uh, in this case you will say to docker okay don't uh, uh, don't use any networks just this one I have in my in my uh, work I have situations when docker really reserved IP addresses of external servers of uh, some API where I should uh, connect to and I didn't know why I don't have connection to my external API and when I uh, made some investigation it looked like just docker was was reserved his uh, in his network was reserved at this IP address as docker IP address so uh, putting um, defining network subnet uh, resolved this situation so my uh, opinion is to use uh, subnet uh, config also so in this case you should put a docker host like to to this env file so my database should look like this one okay I will comment it out and put something like this oh sorry so it will look like this one docker host So docker host two dots and then db user db pass at docker oh sorry my scale my 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 error my scale docker host you may use another port but it's like normal db name so we should have similar string where you replace your db user and db pass to your of course uh, login and password to uh, user and login and password uh, to the database server and uh, database name is yours in this case uh, in this case uh, docker will connect uh, to your local host uh, meaning your computer local host and will search for database to connect on port 3306 okay in this case we will have docker properly connected let's see how it lo looks like and i will go to my terminal and we'll, we'll run it yeah i have here everything prepared before and tested so let's let's run my docker okay blog is up to date my docker container is up to date and let's see if my docker runs i should use sudo because i didn't configure it properly so we have one docker running and it's my test birkhoff block let's see uh, let's go to console and let's see what is my docker host and this IP address is exactly the same IP address of which I was uh, was typed here it is the same and it points to my local host on this it's all for today you can read everything on uh, my host on my blog i'm sorry uh, and just subscribe if you liked it uh, like it if you like it 
and uh, put your questions in the comments I'll try to answer also I will try to record uh, or and uh, prepare another uh, articles here on my blog mm, just ask what are you interested in what questions do you have in what problems do you have do you have and I can help you to solve it thank you for viewing bye bye